All right. Everyone can see the slides, right? Alrighty, it's almost 540. So we will get started. Uh, welcome everyone to the BMES Fall General Meeting. We are the official chapter of uh, the Biomedical Engineering Society at UCLA. Um, and this is just a quick meeting to kind of run everyone through what we're up to this quarter and uh, to see if you're interested in joining us. So here we'll go. Okay, so the Biomedical Engineering Society, we're the only bioengineering club on campus, and we have a lot of events that connect our undergrads to other undergrads, graduate students, staff, and faculty within the department. And Tamir will kind of go over what we do. So as Lynette said, we are the only bioengineering club on campus, which means that BMES hits a variety of different divisions so, all, so that all members' needs are met. So the divisions of BMES include professional development, community outreach, undergraduate and alumni mentorship, social tech projects, and academic help. And each of these divisions are run by the many amazing board members on BMES, and you'll meet them in just a second. Cool, so now we're gonna meet the board, but right before we do that, we have to meet the most important board member, which is Engineering 5. Um, but all jokes aside, this is like the building we're usually housed in during the school year and where we hold a lot of our events. Um, unfortunately, because of everything going on, we can't meet in person this year, but hopefully maybe later down the line, we'll be able to all congregate together in this building and get to meet each other in person. Um, so yes, uh, my name is Lynette. I am the president of BMES. Hi, I'm, I'm Milone. I am the internal vice president of BMES and what that means is like I help organize the big socials from fall barbecue, holiday party, bee ball and banquet and more. So please come out to this. Hi, my name is Tamira. I am the external vice president. So basically I oversee um, anything related to professional development, uh, community outreach, as well as finances. And then I also just communicate with other uh, clubs and other schools. And my name is Shika. I am the Technical Projects Vice President. And what that means is I oversee the entire technical division of BMES. So all of our project teams, as well as all of our workshops. So hello, I'm Katie um, and I'm a second year bioengineering undergraduate student and I'm BMES's treasurer for this year. Hi, I'm Christine Pamplona. I am a fourth year bioengineering student and I'm the secretary for this year. So I'll be managing the BMES newsletters that you'll see every week if you sign up as well as the BMES website. Hi, my name is Angela. I'm a third year bioengineering major and one of the academic co-chairs. Hi guys, I'm Griff. I'm a third year BE as well and I'll be the other half of the academic chair. Hi guys, I'm Neha. I'm a third year bioengineering major as well, and I'm an industry chair. Hi, I'm Giorgio. I'm a second year bioengineering student, and I'm one of the three industry chairs. Howdy everyone. My name is Simon. I'm a fourth year bioengineering student, um, also an industry chair, believe it or not. Uh, and I just wanted to, uh, just wanted to share a fun fact that uh, I started a kombucha fermentation while in quarantine. So that's very exciting. Uh, anyway, yes. Hi everyone, I'm Parsa. I'm a fourth year bio-e and I'm one of the community outreach chairs. 
Hi guys, I'm Juhi. I'm a second year bioengineering student and I'm the other community outreach chair. Hi guys, my name's Rocky and I'm gonna be the mentorship coordinator for this year. Yo, what's poppin'? My name is Aditya. Uh, I will be one of the mentorship family heads for this year. And I look forward to meeting everyone and having a fantastic virtual year. It's going to be great. Uh, hey, guys. My name is Chase. I'm this year's STEM diamine family head, and I'm a fourth year bioengineer. Hello, my name is Mary Upperson, and I am also one of your mentorship heads for the Guanin family, and I am a second year bioengineering major. Hello, I'm Dime. I'm heading up Cytocene. I'm a fourth year bioengineer, and I hope you become a Cytocinner. Hello, I'm Noah, and I'm going to be one of your build team project managers, and I'm a second year bioengineering major. Hi, everyone. I'm Christina. I'm a second year computer engineering major, and I'm also one of the build team project managers. Um, hi, my name's Alyssa. I am a second year mechanical engineering major, and I'll also be one of the build team project managers. Hi guys, I'm Anya. I'm a fourth year bioengineering student and I will be one of your cell team project managers this year. Hi, I'm Justin. I'm a third year bioengineering student and I'll be the co-project manager for cell team. Hey everyone, I'm Joe. I am a third year computer science major. I'm gonna be one of the design team heads. Join my design team, it's gonna be super awesome. Um, hi, everyone. Um, I am also a third year computer science major. My name is Sameda. Um, and yeah, I hope you join design team. Hey, everyone. My name is William. Um, also a design team leader. And I'm a third year CS major as well. What's up, guys? My name is Brendan. I'm a fourth year mechanical engineer. And I'm excited to meet you guys, introduce our project to you. We'll speak a little more about it later on, about halfway through the presentation. Hi, everyone. I'm Diana. I'm a third year bioengineering student, and I'm one of the publicity chairs. Hi, uh, my name is Sharon. I'm a second year bioengineering student, and I'm the other publicity chair. Hi, guys. I'm Nick Hill, and I'm a second year comp bio major, and I'm historian. Nice. So thank you, everyone. That was our board for this year. And now we'll be moving on. Um, each branch will kind of be going over what events they have planned for this quarter. Okay. So for some of the events that we have coming up for this fall um, to offer preparation for the upcoming career fairs that are happening, Academic is hosting a career fair prep workshop next Tuesday, October 13th from 6 to 8 p.m., where we will briefly present some tips and give out resources for writing resumes, editing LinkedIn profiles, and giving an elevator pitch. Later next week on Friday, October 16th from 6 to 7 p.m., we have a transfer roundtable event uh, for new transfers where we'll share some resources on navigating UCLA and bioengineering classes as a transfer student and you'll also have the opportunity to hear some advice and tips from fellow bioengineering transfers. Um, then we will have the biotech career fair where um, you will be able to talk to company representatives from many different types of biotech fields from devices to pharmaceuticals to consulting um, and network, that, network with them over a virtual platform, which is um, as close to an in-person experience as we can provide, and that will be through Gatherly. 
Hey guys, so during week seven, we'll be holding our class planning workshop. And one of our main goals as academic chairs is to answer any and all of your questions about UCLA and classes. So feel free to reach out to us at any time over the quarter or just drop into our class planning workshop if you're wondering what to do during winter quarter. Uh, we'll also be collaborating with industry to host an interview workshop during week nine. Look for more information in our email blasts. And we hope to partner uh, students with alumni to hold mock interviews. So, One of our year-round events for academic will be our alumni mentorship program. And I've written a bunch of nice little bullet points to summarize it for you guys. But our main goal with the alumni mentorship program is to generate consistent and meaningful interactions with alumni throughout the year and beyond. So sign up using the slides below and we'll help pair you with an alumni to set you up for postgraduate success. You can feel free to like scan the QR codes right now, but if you want to sign up for all the events and can't scramble, we'll be sending out the slides later on. So uh, like, don't worry if you don't catch everything right now, they'll be like on the website or on Facebook. All right, mentorship. Hi again. So I'm Rocky and I'm going to be the mentorship coordinator. And just to give you a little bit of an introduction to mentorship and the BMES family program, basically um, all BMES members will be split into one of the four families and you met the family heads earlier. And basically we just have a bunch of events throughout the year. Um, and these are inter intra family events. So you're going to have a small event with your family, like 20 to 30 people, and then also larger scale events where you can have two families meet up or um, even more. And we're really trying to make a lot more of the events this year um, inter-family. So you'll have the opportunity to go to a lot of different events and whichever, it's a lot more easy for you guys to join those events because everything's just gonna be online. Um, and it's a great opportunity for you guys to meet other people in the club and make friends with people with similar interests. And we have a Google form that you can go to through the QR code or the tinyurl.com slash BMES mentorship 2020 link. That's a Google form that will let you sign up for our mentorship family. So you can sign up as a mentor, mentee, or just a member. And it's really fun to go to our events. And if you're a first year student, then you definitely want to be a mentee and get the knowledge that all of us mentors have and can pass down to you. Speaking of the first years and new students, transfer students, uh, we're going to have a first year and transfer welcome right after the general meeting. We would love if you guys could join love to see your faces, get to know you better. You guys can get to know us. You can meet other bioengineering freshmen, bioengineering transfer students. We'll have icebreakers. We'll have laughs. We'll have music. It's going to be a great time. We hope to see you there. And then to give you an idea of what we do throughout the year and families, some of our events that we'll have for this year include and are not limited to same things such as like speed date mingling, uh, you'll have be paired with a mentor, play games, we'll also have mental health discussions um, because especially this year, it's a very trying time for us. And then we'll send you guys little postcards and other events. So make sure to come out and join us. It'll be a fun time. Uh, one of the things that we want to strive for and recognize is the idea of being more inclusive and recognizing diversity in our community, especially for engineering. And that will be done through a variety of events such as panels. And we want to discuss some topics that may not be comfortable, but um, your opinions are valid. And we want to recognize if there's ever a time that you ever felt not included into something or anything that made you feel uncomfortable. So. Look up for those type of events. We hope to see you there too. That's it for me. All right, so on to socials. Um, a big part of BMES is the social aspect, if not the biggest part. The best thing about being a bioengineer is that everyone really gets to know each other through BMES. And the best way to do that is through these socials. 
they're super fun and I've gotten to know everyone on board and a lot of other bioengineers and members in the club. And our first big event of the year is a fall barbecue. And usually it'll be in person on Sunset Rec, but we're gonna keep the energy still high and we're gonna play some fun games on Zoom. And it'll be a fun time. You'll get to meet your families for the first time, which is which will be exciting. So you'll meet your family head and other people in your family, as well as play some trivia on UCLA and uh, even solve murder mystery or like a mystery of stolen cash. So that'll be this Thursday from five to around 6.30ish on Zoom. And please RSVP and it'll be a super fun time. And so some of the other events that we have coming up um, where you'll also have the opportunity to interact with staff members and faculty um, in the bioengineering department is we have the holiday party coming up um, that will be closer to the end of the quarter as well as BMES Thanksgiving. And so these are great opportunities for you guys to come out and meet a bunch of people and hang out and it'll be a lot of fun. So we definitely hope to see you there. Okay, I'm gonna talk a little bit about community outreach. Um, so our main motto is for the kids. So all the events we do, like we are just, for us, um, reaching out to our community is really important. So we have a lot of events where we are reaching out either to kids, whether it be middle school or high school age, or just generally our local community. And our three main project we focus on are RISE, which stands for reaching and inspiring students in engineering. We have science days, and then we have a variety of drives. So we'll explain all those in a little more detail in the next few slides. Okay, so RISE, or Reaching Inspiring Students in Engineering, is a program that aims, aims to teach engineering concepts to students that go to Title I schools. So they generally come from low-income backgrounds and underserved communities. So we wanna teach them these engineering concepts in a really exciting and hands-on environment, which makes them super passionate about um, the topics that we're teaching them and also just shows them the opportunities that um, like just we're, we're able to give them these opportunities that otherwise they might not have access to. So um, our curriculum mostly focuses on Arduino and circuitry. So we teach our kids through Tinkercad, uh, we teach them Arduino and uh, we use circuit kits to teach them circuitry. And we're also going to do some coding. And we have virtual workshops three times a quarter for each of our sites. We are currently working with James Madison Middle School and Fairfax High School. Um, and anyone who is interested can volunteer at any time throughout the quarter. So uh, this year we'll be having volunteer leads for our RISE program. The role of volunteer leads is just to help us facilitate day of activities and logistics. For example, you might help us train new volunteers for that day's workshop. And really we just ask for you to try to commit to our workshops and try to make it if you can. Uh, no prior experience is required. So even if you might not feel too comfortable with Arduinos or circuitry or coding, still try to apply. Applications are due Sunday, October 11th, so this Sunday, and we have the link here and the code there to scan. If you have any questions, please email us at bmscommunityoutreach um, at gmail.com. And just a quick note, um, volunteer lead applications are different from community applications, which we will be going over later in this presentation. And usually in a non-COVID world, we would be having science days and drives. So similar to RISE, uh, science days are an opportunity for us to engage um, with students, to kind of inspire students, but instead of going to them, they come to us. So we invite a school, uh, a certain group of students to UCLA, and we have a full day of activities, such as science experiments. In the past, we've done strawberry DNA extractions. We've done marshmallow DNA modeling. Uh, we've done campus tours. Uh, we've had grad students do a planetarium tour. And really it's an opportunity for us to talk, engage and inspire um, these students. So they can ask us questions about experiments, but a lot of times they also ask us questions about college life, about just about anything, you know, our interests, you might be able to connect just, um, with students um, on shared interests. So it's a really neat opportunity to really inspire and engage with the students. We also host drives, uh, which really focus more on our local community in the past, we've primarily focused on food drives, but we've been looking into branching off 
uh, and doing toy drives, PPE drives. And a cool aspect is that usually we have some sort of competition associated with our drives. We try to see who's the best family and who donates the most to our drives. All right, now we will move on to the technical projects aspect of VMES. So first, like I said, my name is Shika. I am a fourth year computer science major and I will walk you through the overall structure of VMES technical projects. So we have four main divisions, cell team, build team, design team, and our various workshops. And all of these have different focuses. Cell team and build team focus on building foundational skills. So these are year long teams for people with no prior experience in anything technical. Whereas design team is for people who already have some experience and workshops are for people of all skill levels. In addition to that, cell team is more research driven while the rest of the, the, rest of the groups are more industry driven. In addition to that, the three teams, sell, build, and design, are year-long programs, whereas workshops are more one-time events. And our goal with all of these is to have you, as our students, gain more marketable tools and technology. You can learn useful hands-on skills that you can put on your resume. Um, and these include engineering as well as non-engineering skills, and ultimately, have fun and set you up for success in the future. All right, so um, Cell Team is a year-long technical project focused on developing wet lab skills to prepare for um, you guys joining a research group. Uh, so what is a wet lab? A wet lab is basically a laboratory that focuses on chemical reagents, chemicals, uh, maybe biological species, whereas um, dry labs are labs that focuses more on electronics and programming. So um, Cell Team is more wet lab based versus um, the other two technical projects are more uh, dry lab based. Um, so Cell Team is geared towards mainly freshmen and sophomores who want to gain experience before joining a lab. Uh, actually, many of our former members have been able to successfully join a research group within their first year here at UCLA. And the best thing is no prior experience is needed. So we'll talk about this a little bit more in the technical projects info session tomorrow, but we're doing cell team a little bit differently this year to make it more accessible to more students than ever before. So cell team will actually be divided into two different groups. One that's the permanent group that's more like the traditional cell team where they'll be able to participate in modules, journal clubs, and the laboratory portion. Um, and the module group that will only be able to participate in the module and journal club portion. For more information, you could visit our cell team website at bmesellteam.github.io. Um, on there, you'll see an about section where there's going to be more information. Uh, you'll also see a module section where I posted a sample module. Uh, the first one's an introduction, uh, more or less. So it will get more interesting from there on out. Um, also, uh, for even more information, be sure to come to our technical projects info session tomorrow at 6. Also for cell team, um, you'll be able to um, basically execute a independent project at the end of the year, and you'll be able to uh, present to faculty members and other students at the BMES um, technical projects info session as shown in this picture right here. Uh, if you see on the back far left, that's me um, down there. That, that was um, 2018 or 2019. So if you decide not to do any wet lab activities, then we could also provide you with dry lab activities. So Build Team is here for your interest in any circuitry and electronics or other design projects that you would like to start, but you don't have any skills yet to start. So Build Team would be the perfect opportunity for you to learn how to get these hands-on skills that are basic to bioengineering. It's a year-long program, and at the end, you finally present a pulse oximeter that you build with your own team. And we usually take around 30 people and emphasize that no prior experience would be needed if you joined us. So usually you work in, te in teams towards the end of the year. And it'd be a great way to get some engineering project experience for your resume and learn some practical skills that you can mention in those uh, wonderful job interviews. 
So we highly recommend if you need some new skills and you're new to bioengineering that you join Build Team. Hey guys, design team is the third of the project teams and it's considered the most advanced. Um, typically students will have joined other teams before coming to ours, either the cell team or the build team. Like myself, I did build team my first year, I did design team my second year, and now two years later, I'm gonna lead one, super cool. And this year we've adjusted so that everything will be 100% virtual, so that we'll be safe with COVID considering all that. And a couple um, different events that we'll have throughout the year are we'll have a couple of technical skills workshops to teach you guys a little bit more about what you'll need either for career or for the projects that we're working on. This will include computer design, some coding, some circuitry, and a little more than that. Um, what's cool about this year is that everyone on our design team between our four managers, we all come from different backgrounds. For example, I'm mechanical engineering. So we all bring something different to the table that we would love to share with you guys. Aside from the skills workshops, we're also gonna have a couple of socials. And of course we will have the design team project itself. This year we will have two main projects. The first one led by Sumita and myself uh, will be constructing a concussion detection device. And the other project from William and Joe is an immersive sleep device. So stay tuned tomorrow for the tech project info session. You can learn a little more and ask us questions about that. So to cover, to cover some of the upcoming events for tech projects as a whole, applications are currently open. If you go to that tiny URL link, it is one application to apply to all three teams. For a more deep dive into each project, we will be holding a technical projects info session tomorrow at 6 p.m. on Zoom. Please RSVP to that because that is where you will get the Zoom information. So the link, the meeting ID, all of that will be through the RSVP. So if you can't make it also, please RSVP because we will use that list in your emails to contact you afterwards with relevant information. Applications will be due next Friday, I believe, which is the 16th at midnight. So make sure to keep working on them. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us. Um, and yeah, we look forward to reading your applications. In addition to that, regarding workshops, um, this is a great opportunity, as all of the PM said, to expand your technical skills. Uh, so to some topics we've had in the past include Arduino, computer-aided design, technical interview prep, as well as more. So look out on our social media channels, our website, all of that, to hear about more information about those workshops. All right, so for finances, um, I'm the treasurer, so um, I kind of run finances with Tamira, who's the external vice president. So to run all of these amazing events that BMES does with all of its different branches, um, we have to manage and track our budget and finances. Um, so to do that, we organize different fundraisers. Um, when we were in person, we could do some on campus. Um, but now that everything's virtual, look out on the Facebook and social media for small fundraisers and maybe even a couple in Westwood this year. Um, in addition, if you're interested in learning how to run large events, and if you're interested in learning and meeting new people um, in all the different branches of BMES and in the admin and faculty and other engineering clubs, um, you can join finances and learn how to apply for funds and run all of these big events. Hi, so as publicity and historian, our main goal is to basically publicize all BMS events so we can like, spread our activities to as many people as possible. So our responsibilities are to create the Facebook events and design the flyers and graphics that we can publicize on social media, as well as draft publicity releases for blast emails and announcements. Um, we also run the BMES Facebook and Instagram accounts, and our historian, Nikhil, is also responsible for taking all the pictures and videos of our BMES events. Uh, remember to connect with us on social media, where we'll be um, up uploading posts about upcoming events and internship opportunities and other resources. So follow or visit this website, our website here at this link to sign up for a newsletter. And remember to join our BMES at UCLA Facebook group. This is where we'll also 
post in information about our events and internship opportunities and more. And follow us on Instagram at BMES at UCLA. Join our Slack at this link and join our uh, LinkedIn group at this link as well. And make sure to have BMES UCLA in your profile or else Griff might deny you from the group. <laughs> and then now Tamira will talk about membership. All right, so I'm sure a bunch of you are wondering, wait, BMES sounds like an amazing club. How do I join? Well, there are two easy steps. The first step is to go and scan this um, code, your URL, and sign up to be a member. And the second thing is to Venmo BMES UCLA, $6. And if you do both those steps, you are an official member of BMES. Sorry, <laughs> had a problem with my mute. Um, yeah, some of you guys, if you're returning members, you might notice like memberships a little different this year. And uh, we just try to lower it to accommodate everyone. We know COVID has been really stressful. So we're just trying to be like upfront about charging less this year. Um, but if you want to be a little more involved with us this year, uh, feel free to apply for our committees. We do have four committees this year. So you can apply to help publicity community outreach, industry, or with finances. And the link to the application will be on the website under About Us membership. And there should be a little button that says committee apps. So if you click on that, all the information you need and the forms are on there. And if you have any question, feel free to email us at the BMESUCLA at gmail.com or just reach out to me, Tamira, or my loan. And the due date for this is also next Friday at midnight. Um, and yes, we look forward to anyone who wants to get involved to join us. We are very excited. And thank you for coming. Um, this is where we would be usually. <laughs> also, uh, just wanted to add one thing. Our very own Nguyen Lei, he came up with a pre-med guide, a very comprehensive pre-med guide to how to be a pre-med at UCLA bioengineering major. He's currently at UCLA Med School, so you know he did several things right. So I took a look through it myself. It's very comprehensive. It was sent out on our last newsletter. And uh, so another reason to subscribe to our mailing list. We'll also send it out again like, next week. But uh, yeah, definitely a really cool tool. And please join the first year welcome coming after this. Yep, so here is the meeting ID and the passcode for the Zoom call that where uh, the first year welcome will be. Uh, eboard, we will hang around on this Zoom link for 10 to 15 minutes to, have, to answer any questions you might have from this uh, meeting. Um, but after that, if we're gone, feel free to just email us or reach out to us on our socials. And yeah, hope everyone will come join first year welcome. Thank you for coming.